Hey, great morning, you guys. Great morning. Today is going to be an amazing day in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God for who he is and what he's doing in our lives, guys. Today is Friday, guys. We made it through this week. Today is payday for some people. So we thank God for that. Um, today I want to talk about uh, where do you find, where your hope come from? Where do you find hope? What gives you hope? Where do your hope come from? So let's go to the throne of grace, then we're going to close out. So Father God, we come to your throne of grace. Thank you. Just for your grace, your mercy, your salvation, God. Thank you just for everything you're doing in life and everything that you're going to do for Heavenly Father. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sins, both for known and unknown sins, God. We thank you for leadership. We thank you for guidance. We thank you for wisdom, God. We thank you for understanding right now, God. We thank you for your love this morning, God. Continue to increase in us, God. Make us more like you. Continue to mold us into who you want us to be, God. We thank you for your trials and, tribul trials and tribulations which come to make us strong, God. Give us endurance, God. Strengthen us spiritually, physically, and mentally, God. We surrender everything to you right now in the name of Jesus. Everything belongs to you, God. Nothing belongs to us, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus for the temple that we were given, God. Thank you for your word today, God. Thank you for hope, God. Thank you for giving us hope, God. Continue, Lord, use to increase yourself within us, God. We want to have all the faith in you, God. Just not some faith, but all the faith, Father God. We thank you right now, God, for victory. We thank you for rest. You don't like everything that you are going to do, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your word, God. Thank you just for opportunity, Father God, to get it right with you again. We love you so much, God. Thank you for a great day. It shall be in your mighty name. This is our prayer in your son. Jesus' name, I do pray and it is so. Amen. So, yeah, where do, you, where do your hope come from? What gives you hope? You feel me? It's got to be something that you are holding on to, something that you are hoping in, something that you are hoping for. What gives you that hope? Genuine hope, we're talking about today. He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. 1 Peter 1 and 3. 1 Peter 1, make sure you guys read 1 Peter 1, 3 through 9. Stop it. Sit down. So this is what it says. I just want to read a little bit of the bottom. Peter's blessing of God at the opening of this letter draws a circle around all of life. From beginning to end, everything points toward our salvation and the ultimate realization of God's kingdom. That right there, just right there is enough. <laughs> So this is talking about today, y'all. In the early 1960s, the U.S. was filled with anticipation of a bright future, okay? Youthful President John F. Kennedy had introduced the new frontier, the Peace Corps, and the task of reaching the moon. A thriving economy caused many people to expect the future to simply let the good times roll. Then the war in Vietnam escalated. National unrest unfolded. Kennedy's was stopped and assassinated, and the accepted norms of that previous optimistic society were dismantled. Optimism uh, simply wasn't enough, and in its wake, in its wake, this illusion moment, this this illusion moment, uh, prevailed. Then, in 1967, theologian uh, George Moltmans, a theology of hope pointed to a clear vision. It says this path wasn't the way of optimism, but the way of hope. Come on now. The two are in the same thing. Moltman affirmed that optimism is based on the circumstances of the moment, but hope is rooted in God's faithfulness, regardless of this, our situation. Mm. What's the source of this hope? Peter wrote, Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Our faithful God has conquered death through his Son, God. The reality of this greatest of all victories lifts, lifts us beyond mere optimism to a strong, reposed, hope it says every day and in every circumstance so um whether you're an optimist or a pessimist what situations cause concern in you what situation cause concern in you what situations cause you to lo lose hope what causes you to lose hope what causes you to doubt what causes you to be like um i don't believe it's going to happen Everybody go through it. I will say everybody can witness to that. Everybody goes through that time where they may leave, you know, lose a little hope. Not all hope, they may lose a little faith, but not not all faith. But they do lose. You know, it, it does go away a little bit. You feel me? Sometimes some people just lose it completely. 
But we thank God for showing us things and taking us through things that will guide us back to hope. Uh, a lot of things happen, uh, God allows to happen for us to be directed back to him, rewrite it. Sometimes we need to rewrite it. Sometimes we need that detour, you feel me? Because sometimes we're going to pop uh, and want God to get us out of it. And God has told us that don't go on that path, but we still want to go on it. Why are you messing with that light, man? Come here. Yeah, but God, um, so sometimes we put ourselves in situations, guys. Sometimes we put ourselves in situations. Okay, come here. Why are you over there? Come on. Can you have a, have a, have a, sir? Have a. All right, guys, so yeah, sometimes we put ourselves in situations and we want God to give us out of it. He watches over us. He loves us just as much that he will chase after us. We should be chasing after the Christ, Jesus Christ, you feel me? But, you know, um, we are human, man, and, and things happen in life. Uh, but we do have a choice. He gives us a choice. Uh, and trials and tribulations and down in the valley, being down in the valley. Let me tell you something. Um, finding God down in the valley, man. Most that's what most people find him at because they lose hope in everything, and then God comes about and shows them that He loves them, and that that this is where your hope should lie in Me. All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys today, man. Hope this encourages you, guys. Like I said, if you don't hear, I'm, I'm very, I, I don't really sleep a lot, especially now because I, I have a lot going on. Um, but I thank God for it. You feel me? Because work now, and you know we have a rest later. Huh? Not saying I'm gonna work myself to death, but it's a lot of things I have to do. A lot of things, you know, nobody else is gonna do. I have to do it. So uh, I don't rely on anybody else. I don't want to work anybody else. Uh, if I can do it, I'm gonna do it. But I thank God for who I have, you know, so far that has helped me along the way. Cause it's, you guys haven't watched the first pass down. Watch the first pass down. Let me tell you something. God is doing something amazing through this production. This production right here is God is doing something amazing. And we are uh, almost halfway done with um, part two. Part two almost is, uh, you know, completed. We'll be completed at the end of this month. Hopefully it's God willing. It's God willing. Everything goes the way, it, you know, it should. We, we shoot tomorrow. We shoot Sunday. I, I'm not the person that could, I, we can't shoot through the week. all shoot just a whole month. Not nonstop. I don't want to be that filmmaker because I want to be able to spend time with my family. I don't, I don't care. It's not, you know, it's very important to me, but you have to spend time with your family because at the end of the day, that's all you're going to have. You feel me? So you have to prioritize people like that. Um, but yeah, but I'm, I still, you know, still stay busy. We might have to, you know, sacrifice those weekends. Like we, I have to do this uh, month. <laughs> and sacrifice the weekends, but we still, you know, we have to put that family yeah. time in. So, guys, let's go to the throne of grace. Then we're gonna close out, okay? Let's pray. God, this world is distressing and confusing, and many voices want to drive us to a perspective that feels void of hope. Help us to root our hearts in the promise and the power of the resurrection of Jesus, who holds the future. In Jesus' name, we pray. Jesus Amen. Name. Yeah, it's allowed us to put our hope in Jesus who holds the future. You feel me? Some people think they know what's going to happen in the future. Man, put your trust in Christ Jesus, man, because let me tell you something. At the end of the day, he's in control, and he will show you that he's in control. All right? God bless you all, man. Okay? Bless you all, man. Um, I love y'all. God loves you. I want you guys to have a fantastic Friday in the mighty name of Jesus. Guys, I will see you guys on Monday if it's Lord's willing. If you need me, I got you. You feel me? God bless you all.